in order to ensure your personal safety, it's critical that you keep in mind a few things that will help reduce your risk of being victimized by personal violence. Know where you are going and speak up if you are uncomfortable with the plans. Communicate with your date. No means no. Know that drinking and drug use can impair your judgment. You might not be able to make the same decision you would have made if you were sober or have the same ability to remove yourself from a bad situation. If you drink, drink responsibly. Eat a full meal before going out. Have a glass of water between each drink. Stick to one type of an alcoholic beverage. Know your limits and don't go beyond them. Have a designated driver and don't let anyone else make the decision of how much you will drink. Only drink something that you have poured yourself or that comes in a pre-sealed container. Mixed drinks can have more alcohol in them than you might want to drink. Also, drugs like both methanol and GHB are dissolved in drinks, causing the person who consumes the beverage to lose consciousness quickly. Don't drink something that has been left unattended. Don't go anywhere with someone you don't know well. If you do leave a party with a new friend, tell the friends you came with where you are going and when you are coming back. It's also critical to understand your responsibility when it comes to interactions with others. In order to ensure everyone's safety, you need to keep in mind a few things that will help reduce your risk of committing personal violence. Listen carefully. Take time to hear what the other person has to say. If you feel he or she is not being direct or is giving you a mixed message, ask for clarification. Don't fall for the cliché, if they say no, they really mean yes. If your partner says no to sexual contact, believe them and stop. Only yes means yes. Remember that sexual assault is a crime. It is never acceptable to force sexual activity, no matter what the circumstances. Don't make assumptions about a person's behavior. Don't assume that someone wants to have sex because of the way that they're dressed, they drink or drink too much, or agree to go to your room. Don't assume that because someone had sex with you before, that they are willing to have sex with you again. Also, don't assume if your partner consents to kissing or other sexual activities, that they're consenting to all sexual activities. Be aware that having sex with someone who is mentally or physically incapable of giving consent is rape. If you have sex with someone who is drugged, intoxicated, passed out, or otherwise incapable of saying no or knowing what is going on around them, you may be guilty of rape. Be careful in group situations. Resist peer pressure from friends to participate in violent acts. Get involved if you believe that someone is at risk. If you see someone in trouble or someone pressuring another person, don't be afraid to intervene. So before things get out of control, stop and think. Personal empowerment through self-awareness can reduce your risk of personal violence. Just in case you are thinking this isn't relevant to you, a 2010 research study showed that one in three female students and one in five male students on college campuses will hear about a sexual assault from a friend. This makes it all of our responsibility. We all need to know how to support our friends, ourselves, and our community. The health services and counseling offices can provide resources for you to help your friend at any time. 